So, with this show, you play the hero of the piece, basically. Shit, But a lot more complex than most of the television heroes, I would say. Yeah, he's pretty... He's a pretty average guy a lot of the time, including being a pretty poor father and pretty unsupportive brother and, you know, not very good at his job and not much of a cop <laughs> and being pretty reluctant about being the hero. So, yeah. But he seems to be coming out of it as we get to the end of season one. Do you think he's uh, improving? Well, he's, tr he's, he's trying, but really, you know, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a mask that he throws on for a moment, I think. I don't think he can sustain it. But it doesn't mean that he necessarily has to go and start popping bills and drinking again. And with your character, you're kind of isolated from the rest of the, the actors. You haven't interacted with the main cast as much on screen. True. Um, do you feel that on the set, or do you get lots of chances they to... They ignore interact? her. They treat her terribly. <laughs> the whole outsider so thing, rude. I am the outsider. Outsiders. Oh. Yeah. I'm Spartacus. I'm the outsider. I'm the outsider. Um, no, it's very interesting, because I only ever see Thomas, and then I occasionally cross paths with the other ones. But uh, there's something that's like, kind of okay about that. I mean... Yes, sure, I wish I could act with David Morris also, and Ryan Hurst, but... It, it's, it also is worth it to say that your part has expanded to such an extent this year mm -hmm. that you're now one of the central characters of the entire series, and also the work that Rebecca's done this year is, I think, some of the strongest work in the entire show, so, you know. Thank you. Mm, so... Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you both very much for your time. Thank you.